Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good week and today I'm going to just briefly talk about my gray hair journey and that started about two years ago. I decided to let myself go fully gray. I cut my hair up short to remove any of the remaining coloring that I had in my hair and I've had short hair on and off my entire life so it was not a big shock to me. I do use purple shampoo to help keep down the brassiness but purple shampoos are very drying and they don't really add any shine or vibrancy to my hair. So I've been looking for alternatives to help make my hair seem more bright. And I did try the Fancy Full Rinse in Mink and it did work. It did actually give my hair some extra silver streaks. I have a before and after picture here. But what I did not like about the product is number one, it rinses out after every shampoo. So if you have to shampoo your hair frequently, you're going to have to use this frequently. It's very messy. You have to cover all your surfaces, including your hands. It's a very deep purple liquid. And it's so runny that you really need to do it over a sink. You need to totally saturate your hair and then you need to blow dry it. You cannot let this air dry. It has to be blown dry with heat. And I assume there's something in this product that must be heat activated. And I tried even using a spray bottle to uh, put it on my hair, but it actually put a fine mist all over the walls. And so I forego using that. And as I said, it did work, but the end result of having the mess, the time and the energy to use this product every time you shampoo was not worth it. It also left my hair feeling very tacky and brittle and crunchy. So it did not have this soft bouncy feel to it at all. So my quest was to find an alternative product and I'm looking at the L'Oreal Le Color Gloss and Toner. And this is the size of the bottle, so it's a good size bottle. It says it only works for three applications, but with short hair, I'm going to assume it's going to do a little bit more than three applications. And I like to just basically focus on the front of my face, the sides, the top, where I'm framing my face. So I'm assuming it will last at least three applications or more for me. It says also you use it on clean, damp hair, but you also rinse it out. It does not stay in your hair and get blow dried into your hair which I like as well. Also, it says it lasts about 10 days. And of course it says if you shampoo a lot, it probably won't, but average shampooing is supposed to last about 10 days. You also keep it on between five and 15 minutes and wash it out. So if your hair is very dark gray, 15 minutes. If it's more white, five. If you're in between, maybe 10 minutes. So I'm going to try this product. I'm going to show you a before and after picture of the top and sides of my hair. And I'm gonna see how this comes out compared to the Fancy Full Rinse. So stay tuned, let me show you what it looks like. This is what my hair looks like from the top and both sides. As you can see, it looks fairly dull, not very shiny, and the white streaks are not very intense. I finished washing my hair per the directions for the L'Oreal Color Glosser and I got my rubber gloves on and I put a protective, uh, just a basic dish rag that I pinned here around my shoulders. I opened up the product and it is very purple. So it will stain if you're not careful. But that's why they do recommend wearing gloves and protective clothing as well. I'm going to put this on my hair and run it through as best as I can. It says use a wide tooth comb. I find when I use combs, it ends up pulling out half of the product that I already put in my hair. And my hair is so short, I don't feel it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to work on getting it all over my hair. I'll show you. It's going to be hard to see what it looks like, but it's purple, very deep purple. And I'm going to push it through my hair as best I can. I'm going to make sure I use enough as well. Cover. Like I said, I'm more concerned with the sides 
and my back of my head than the back of my head. So I'm going to make sure I put it on the top really good. I am going to put it on the back, but I'm not going to focus on it as much. I'm going to just briefly look in my mirror here. I can see that it's leaving a purple deposit on my hair. I think I'm just going to put just a little bit more on top. I'm probably maybe using too much. I can't tell. There's no rhyme or reason. It just says put it on and with the rubber gloves, it's very hard to know how much or how little I've put on. So I think that's pretty covered. You can see it in the back. It's pretty covered. And my hair is kind of mid-range. It's not really dark and it's not really super white. So I'm going to leave it on for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to rinse it out and I will show you what it looks like when I get out of the shower. I finished rinsing out my hair. I left it in for 10 minutes. It looks a little darker just because it's wet right now, but my final step is going to be to blow it dry and then I'm going to show you what the end result looks like. So I finished styling my hair and I'm really happy with the way it came out. I find the whites look brighter. I like the way it relieves some of the dullness and brassiness off the top of my head. You see the back, looks very nice. It did not leave my hair dry, brittle, a tacky feeling and I like the fact that it rinses out from your hair. So overall I give the L'Oreal Color Gloss a thumbs up as far as product. This is the after pictures of the top and sides of my hair and you can see that it looks more shiny, less dull, more vibrant and bright and there is no brassiness to my gray hair at all. I finished using the L'Oreal Le Glosser Toner on my hair and I really like the way it came out. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. It's a glosser toner, not a hair color. And it actually brightened up the whites in my hair. It intensified the white throughout the top and sides of my hair. It took out any brassiness. It left my hair soft and shiny. I do think it did exactly what it said it was going to do, as you can see in my before and after pictures. I liked also that it was a cream and not a liquid. It did not stain my scalp. It was really easy to remove if I got it on my skin. It did not have a horrible smell. And I like that it washes out prior to drying. And if you want this basic effect on your hair without coloring it, because coloring is totally different than what this is going to do. This is basically a glosser toner. You can use this every 10 days and you can use it even earlier if you want to try to intensify this process a little more, making it brighter and more shiny. So you can use it every seven days if you'd like. I think for what it cost, it was well worth the money and the time. I would recommend it if you want to give it a try. If you like this video, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.